so it's 27th uh, October and quarter one revision. Let me divide the board. We make like this. I'm making like this. It's okay. It's up to you. Because I will. I need a space for the questions, right? I don't want to edit too fast. <coughs> okay. Let us start, girls. The first question. Okay. We'll do com convert decimal to fractions. First thing we will do conversion of decimal. Fraction. We'll do all from fraction to decimals, from decimals to fractions. We will also change fraction to decimals the other way. All right. Now the first question, like example, if I give you 0 0.82, how will you convert this to fraction? We'll put 82, uh, up, uh, 82 down, uh, 100. 82. Now see, Malak, listen to me, dear. Malak, are you listening to me? See. Yeah, yeah. You just write the number. And then after point, how many zeros, how many numbers you see after point? Um, nothing. After point here. In the question, yeah. how many numbers do you see? Two. So I will put two zero. But I cannot stop here. I cannot stop here. Okay, if in the option, if this is given, okay, this is your answer. But sometime in the option, there are some other number given. What will you do? You will simplify. Understood? Go, did you understand? Like I can simplify 82 over 100 with two. I can simplify 82 over 102, two times four. See, see, uh, yeah, Malak, eight, two times four is eight, and two times one is two. Now cut this. This is 10, two times five is 10, and zero is zero. So your answer is? How did it become 52? I will tell you. 10, you know if it is 100 divided by two, how will you simplify? Two times one. This is one. I cannot take one. Zero and one becomes ten. So what gives me ten? Two times five gives me? Two times five gives me? Yes. Ten. Two, five, five give me ten. And then zero is here. I put a zero. Understood? Yeah, so we multiply ten by five. Yes, my luck. I don't know why did, why did that go. And in 8, we multiply it by 4. In 2, we multiply it by 1. Yes. OK, understood? Okay. Now, next yeah. question. Convert fraction to decimal 7 over 8. I want decimal girls. This was decimal to fraction. Okay, now I want fraction to decimal. Now I want fraction to decimal. Fraction to decimal. Yes, my luck. You know how to divide, right? Yeah. How will I divide? I'll put, of course, the numerator inside and the denominator outside. But the numerator is small. So I need to put a point. Zero point. I need to put, you just, just see that. You need to put a point. Okay, she's saying zero. Let us write zero first. Because always before point there is zero. See, my love, because seven is small, I put a zero and I put a point. When I put a point here, that means there has to be zero here. Now, eight times what gives me 70 or nearby number? I cannot help you, help you with the timetable. Eight times what gives me 70 or near, near number? Eight times six or eight oh. times eight? Uh, eight multiplied by... Eight, what is it? Eight multiplied by eight, what is it? This eight multiplied by eight equals... Sky, uh, 
How would you do it tomorrow? Let me keep, keep the timetables with you, Malak. Okay? I know it's not. I cannot help you with that. Keep. Uh, you can. You can keep uh, with you the timetable so that, or you can count. Eight times eight. Six, yes. Four. Eight times eight. Sixty-four. Did you understand till here, Malak? I put a point. Yeah. Before point, there has to be zero, and I put zero. And then seventy minus sixty-four is six. Zero. This time I will not take eight because eight times eight is. Who's that? Me. Yeah. Why is this voice? Eight times eight, sixty-four. I miss. I get the. I get the answer. Very good, dear. Yeah. I will take eight times seven. Seven. Fifty-six, and I get four. Forty. And eight times five. Five. Forty. Forty. Sometimes you don't get a remainder. Zero, zero. Only three numbers are enough. Okay. Okay. I want to ask Malak whether she knows this or no. If not, I will explain again. Yes, Malak, tell me. Yeah. Okay, tell me, uh, Malak. If I ask you to convert zero point six to fraction, what will you write? To fraction. Um, I'm gonna divide. Yes. Tell me six. Six uh, divided by over. We put six divided by zero. No, it can't be zero. One. Don't forget one. It can be and one. One zero yeah, because after be one there's one number, so it is six over ten. Right? Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, if you want to simplify, tell me. Um. If you want to simplify six, we can multiply it by six. We can multiply it by six and three. ten. Come on. No. Three. My dear, both has to come in the same type table. Ten do not come in the two. Three. With two, come on, try with two. Now also two. Two times. Two times one, two, three. Hmm? Three. What? Very good. And here, two times. And here, two times uh, five. Very good. So your answer is? Three over, uh, three over five. Decimal to fraction again. 2.45, Malak. Come on. What can I do? It? I will give you other questions. Two point four five. Yeah. Uh, I can uh, make it fraction. Just write yeah. the number. Same number first. Same number without point. To uh, the number yeah. up is yeah. twenty four. Two hundred and forty five, and then down. How many? How many? What should I do? This is two point. Two two. Two what? Right. One and the yes. point. If I did it like this, is it wrong? Like how am I sure? Like this, then like this. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. But if I didn't put the two with 45. Why? Why you don't want to put it? Uh, they're asking you. That's also correct, dear, but... Uh, you can do that way, but you need it fraction, right? You didn't, they did not say you mix fractions. Okay. Uh, again, you can convert that into what do you call it, as fraction by multiplying 100 times 2, understood? It's the same thing. But 245 yeah. over what, Yamanak? 245 over? 245 over 1. And then we will take. Two zero from because after the decimal point. Okay, okay. Two. Is it this one? You see, don't say always two zero. Don't forget this one. Say one hundred. If it is one zero, you say ten. 
Okay? Okay. Now you can divide and check. I will do with five. Four twenty. Anyways, the simplification. This is simplification. This is some other story. Now, Miss, how did you make it to a fourteen and nine? Okay, I will tell you. I'll tell you. It's not easy. Malak, uh, sorry, Lean and uh, Watin has practiced with me this one. See, what is this number? Twenty-four. What is twenty-four? Five times one give me twenty-four. Five times one. Miss, we can't. Four. Choose the small number. The uh, perfect thing is 25. Yeah, so four. you can choose 5 times 5. You will choose 5 times 4 because 25 is big. 5 four. times 4 is 20. 20. Right? How many extra? Um, we One. have 23, four. 24. You have how many extra? Four. 4 extra. What is this number now? 45. What is this number? 45. 45. So okay. five times one gives me forty. Are you going to bring like this in the quiz? I don't know. It's okay if you can. You can. You can divide this way and see. It's your wish, right? To simplify, it's your wish. However, you do. Okay. Okay. Five times nine is forty-five. Here, 10 is there, 5 times 2 is 10, and 0 I'll copy. So it's 49 over 20. Understood, Malak? Yeah. Okay, now. We have, now tomorrow, girls, the questions, if they write like this, don't get confused. What does this mean? That's why I keep a paper tomorrow with you. What does this mean? One over five. Yeah. I like one over five. One over five. That's one over five is written like this. What? One over five is written like, not like this. Yes, but. It can write. It, we can write it like this. Yeah, you. That's what I'm and saying. You can, can write, write it, it like and you can this. continue. Yes, you can continue. So in the test, we have to write it like this. You don't have to write it. You know very well that you have to just choose the correct answer. You will solve yeah. the paper, and you choose the correct answer. See, when you have such question tomorrow, and they ask you, write from big to small. Right from, one second, let me erase this. And write again. Half, three over five, comma, seven over 15. Miss, from big to small? If you see this question tomorrow, what are you going to do? First, take a divide. Paper and, yeah, you do this way. You take a paper and write the question very carefully in your paper, on your paper. And then they ask you from least to greatest. Yani from small to big. From least, from least to greatest. Now, half, you know very well what is half? Half is 0 0.5. Miss, Does miss you know? Here, one with two, three with five, and wait, wait, uh, wait. seven with 15. No, 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 don't do all that. Half is 0 0.5. You know half is 0 0.5? Yeah, and four three eight, over eight, four eight, is eight, 0 0.25. 75, 75. 75. One over four? 0 0.25. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'll simply divide this five over three.
five times six is 30. What did I get? I get 0 0.6. Now seven over 15, let me divide 15. 15 over seven, seven over 15. I'll do point and zero. 70 means, let me check with uh, four. So I got 15 times four is 60. I will not do further girls. Why will I not do further? Because I know it's 0 0.4. Now tell me girls, least to greatest, which one is the least? Which one are the... See, the one point. Malak, I divided three and five, I got one. six. I divided seven, seven I got zero point five. Yes? Seven over five. Which 15, one is smallest? Seven Malak. over sixteen. Which one is smallest here, Malak? In the um, zero point zero point four. So that means seven over fifteen is smallest, and then three over five is small, and then half. Did you understand the question very carefully now? Yes. How the, how is seven fifteen is the smallest? Because when I divide 7 over 15 here, can you see this question here, 7 over 15? Can you see here, can I solve? See, I solved here. What did I do? I solved here 7 over 15. What did I get? 0 0.4. In 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, which one is the smallest? 0 0.4. What was 0 0.4 before? It was 7 over 15. It was seven over 15. That's why you said this one. Understood? No. So you know that from least to greatest, how to do it. And then maybe, maybe eight. Maybe five to six questions you have from simplify fractions. Okay, I will clear the screen. Can I clear the screen? Did you write everything? Yeah. Yeah. No. You will have such questions. Three over 16, maybe three over 16 times. Eight over. 21. Okay. Now, girls, when you see this question, don't panic. What is this? Don't panic. First, take a paper. Imagine I took a paper and I'll write this on my way. How will I write? I will write on my paper like this. 3 over 16 times 8 over 21. Always write far so that it is very clear to you. You all don't get messed up. Okay? Now, now you are but like you have three and 21, you have 16 and eight. Come on, let us start. Multiply three by 21. Don't say multiply, say simplify. What will you do? Um, uh, we come will uh, simplify three. three um, tell me, tell me the number. What will it come? Three times. Uh, three times 21 will be. Three times 21 is. Three, when will you get three? Three times one, you will get three. And 21, when will you get? Three times what gives you 21? Uh, three times 10. Three times 10 give you 21? No. Three times 10 yes. Three times Miss, 10 Three? Miss, I want to understand. It's seven. Three times seven gives you 21. Balak, at least count on your fingers. Three, six, nine. If not, count. Come on, eight and 16. Tell me. Eight, uh, it will be multiplied by one. Okay, and 16? And 16 will be multiplied by... Um, eight times one, eight. Eight times what gives you 16? Uh, eight times... Two. Okay. So what is in the numerator? One times one. Uh, 
Miss, but yeah, can't we simplify eight into four and then we multiply four? Just give me one minute. Uh, give me one minute. Four? I'll come back. One time one gives you one, and two times seven gives you forty. Forty. Huh? And the and the first question: Can't we make eight four? Can't we make eight four and then multiply? Uh, four times four equals to. 16? Yes, like eight and sixteen, you can go with four times two and four times four, and then two times. Yeah. Two times, two times. Same answer you will get. Same you will get it, girls. No, but it, it will not be two, it will be four. Because four multiplied by four equals 16. One minute, dear. I did not understand what you're trying to say. Tell me again. So can uh, we turn eight? We simplify it by four. So it's eight, will eight be four. Eight and 16. If, yeah, four and 16 will be? Uh, and 16 eight will two. be? This will be two. Four times two is eight. Or with two, do you want to do with two? Which one you want to do with? With timetable two or timetable four? If I want to do it with timetable four. Four means it will be four times two. It will be four times two and four times four. Now again, you have two and four. Two times one and two times two. You get same thing. Mm. Just practice more simplification questions. In your book, you have many simplification questions. No, but how did the eight become 12 if we multiply 16 with four? How did eight becomes? Two. Where now? You told me that you can multiply it with four. That's why you told me I want it to like this, right? Eight over 16. It became two because you told me you want to multiply with four, both the things. Four times two is. Yeah, so if we want to multiply with four, we multiply eight. I'll give you one more question, wait. Four by three. I'll give you one more question. Four by three times three by eight. So you do this way, four by three times three by eight. Come on, tell me the answer, do it. Um, three, uh, three will be one. One and one, correct. And four will be one, two. And then four multiplied by two equals eight. No, 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 no. Four you will cut and write one. Eight you will cut and write two. So what is in the numerator? One is in the numerator. And the denominator? Two. That's it. This is your answer. Okay. Okay. And if I give you one more, come on, six, uh, Malak, six, ten times five over. Come on, tell me what is it? Six uh, will be, first of all, three will be one, and three, uh, six will be two, and five will be one, and ten will be two. Then more, you have two and two also you have now, see? Yeah. Two will be one, two will be one, your answer is one. Is it? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm? Did you understand or no? Yeah. Okay. Miss, I didn't understand this one. Which one? Why you don't understand? The one you just said. Simple, dear. It's 6 over 10 times 5 over 3. 3 times 1, 3 times 2. 5 times 1, 5 times 2. What will you do with this 2 and 2? 2 times 1 and 2 times 1. Oh, okay. We have you have three times sorry, not three times, I think it's seven times nine. Seven times nine times three times eleven. How will you do this? Um, me? Vatin? Yes, miss. Do the it. three will be one. Mm -hmm. And the nine will be three. What is your answer left? Seven times one over three times eleven. Your answer is seven. Seven over thirty-three. Okay? Yeah. Yes. By this, I finish my class. I will join for your... What do you have next with me? Science. I will join for your science class. Okay? Yeah, today we have the test, right? Yes, we have the test. Take care, good.